We're here today with Ms. Jennifer Wilkerson, who has joined us from the Child Advocacy Center of the 13th Judicial District. Um, yeah. Your office is actually located here in Cookville, but you cover seven counties in the Upper Cumberland. Can you tell us what counties those are? Sure. Those counties are Putnam County, Cumberland County, Overton, Pickett, Clay, White, and DeKalb counties. Okay. Now the Upper Cumberland region uh, consists of 14 counties. So we have another office in the region? That's correct. There is a uh, Child Advocacy Center in Warren County. Um, both of us are single, independent, 501c3 nonprofits, but it is a very similar concept um, and provides similar services, just um, independently operated. Unfortunately, this is something that, that in all communities has to be dealt with. Mm -hmm. and. Um, we brought you here today so that you could tell us a little bit about the Child Advocacy Center and what services you provide and that you are a friend to the community and an advocate for the children in our community. Um, can you think of a success story or something that there, unfortunately, as I said earlier, it's never a pleasant thing, but seeing a child um, prosper after something tragic like this? We've been very fortunate. We've seen um, thousands of children through the Child Advocacy Center since its inception here in the Upper Cumberland. Um, we've had a number of children who've gone on. Um, some children who've been removed from the home. One, one girl in particular um, had been a victim of, of human trafficking um, and had really suffered a very just horrendous experience in her life. And for a number of years, I had seen her on multiple occasions and she had not made a disclosure. Um, once she became pregnant and that child was then adopted, um, she was still only 17, and she decided that it was time for her. She needed to make sure that the baby was safe. And so once she did make a disclosure, we were able to link up with her um, and help her continue her schooling, continue education. Um, she's gone on now. The baby has been adopted. She has gotten a very successful career um, and doing very, very well for herself. So, you know, I think without the appropriate treatment, without the appropriate support system or the services that are necessary, she would have found it very difficult to go on and have successful relationships, just peer to peer or intimate relationships, marriage, holding down a job. Sometimes we see suicide rates are, are much higher, right. um, substance abuse issues. So that proper treatment that support system um, becomes crucial. Jennifer, what made you decide to become involved with the Child Advocacy Center? I accepted a position at the DA's office, the district attorney, um, and he had come to me at that time and they were really having a difficult time prosecuting child abuse cases because children were going to different um, agencies, different people who were charged with investigations, talking about their story, telling it over and over and over, uh, and by the time they were getting to court, after talking to 10, 11 different people, they were tired. They didn't want to move forward with prosecution. So I started doing some research and found that there were these really great places that were child-friendly centers. Uh, just a few had cropped up across the nation. And I said, I came back and said, you know, I want to make a child advocacy center. I want to see, I think these kids can really benefit um, from having that support system and having somebody who can embrace those, embrace them and, and bring the services that they need. Jennifer, if someone wants to volunteer to help out at the Child Advocacy Center, how do they go about doing that? You know, we really love volunteers and they can be used in a lot of different capacities at the Child Advocacy Center. Um, so they could contact the center directly um, and have some conversations with our staff uh, at 854-0115. Looking us up on the internet um, through our website is also a great avenue or through Facebook. Um, and then, of course, you know, helping out in the thrift store. We have a thrift store that helps generate revenue for us, and there, so there are multiple opportunities that people can help out. Yes, I've been in that thrift store. Stop by there, because mm -hmm. that helps fund the Child Advocacy Absolutely. Center and the work that you do, correct? Yes, all the items are donated. All the proceeds from that then are gone back into the Child Advocacy Center. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for coming in today and giving us some enlightenment on the Child Advocacy Center and the services that you provide in the community. Thank you for what you do. It cannot be easy, no. but it is necessary. Well, thank we you. Thank you for having it. us. We appreciate that. Thank you.